What lies beneath our feet? Do we really understand the importance of soil in the farming sector? I'm a tree fruit farmer in the Okanagan Valley of British Columbia in Canada, and I grow conventional uh, cherries along with uh, certified organic apples, pears, and peaches. Soil degradation is thought to contribute to climate change by soils uh, decreasing their ability to hold carbon and increasing greenhouse gas emissions. With mounting challenges facing farmers and their livelihoods, climate change and soil degradation continue to pose a significant threat to farming and our food security globally. How can we support farmers to advance sustainable soil management to grow crops to feed the world? In our area, we're at high risk of having soils uh, dry out, uh, be affected by extremes in heat, and certainly in drought. We've seen some very extreme drought conditions the last three years, and certainly soils that are left uncovered are then prone to fertilizer runoff over land, uh, flooding, as well as uh, simply drying in ways that would impact the crop quality and crop yields. Many farmers are struggling with depleted soils through lack of nutrients or moisture. This has a, a consequence to the crop. The crops become stressed, they become diseased or stunted or even fail to grow altogether. Soil is a living natural resource. Improving and then maintaining soil health is crucial because healthy soil is the foundation for growing healthy crops and a healthy planet. Did you know that the ocean holds one of the secrets to healthy soil? Seaweed extracts can work wonders for the health and productivity of soil. Biostimulants are, are exciting for the future of agriculture production in both the conventional and organic side. Uh, there's a huge amount of opportunity to use biostimulants. I've been using them for foliar applications to mitigate heat and drought stress. Also been using them as root applications to establish our perennial crops, to improve the root architecture and root system, to help to feed the soil microbiome, and to improve the organic matter, you know, thus by feeding the microbiome and having those uh, active microorganisms improving organic matter and access to nutrients and water availability in the soil. Improving soil health addresses these challenges by bringing soil back to life. It's essential that we see soil as a living ecosystem and subsequently manage it as one. Promoting soil health promotes plant health which reduces erosion and compaction, also improves nutrient and soil moisture Plants then have a larger biomass, larger root mass, which in turn increases the soil carbon, and soil carbon feeds the living soil, the microbiome, which is the microorganisms that then feed the crops. This is the virtuous cycle of regenerative ag, or sustainable agriculture. This leads to increased crop yields and improved profitability for farmers. In fact, a recent study released from the Soil Health Institute states that soil health management systems increase net income in 85% of farmers growing corn and 88% growing soybean. Additionally, there are benefits outside financial. There are practical benefits, such as increased resilience to extreme weather and increased access to farmers' fields. Essentially, healthy soil contributes to broader environmental goals, such as reducing greenhouse gases, promoting biodiversity, while also offsetting climate effects such as drought and heat. So improving soil health is essential for sustainable agriculture and the long-term health of our planet. Along with already recognised techniques to improve soil health, such as no-till and cover cropping, seaweed extracts could be nature's secret to healthy soil. I think the future of farming is still really exciting regardless of the fact that there are these external factors and climate is such a huge and important issue for us to tackle. But there's a number of new technologies coming to the forefront and whether it be uh, irrigation monitoring and technologies around efficiencies of fertilizer usage or new products like biostimulants, I think there's a lot of interesting ideas and creativity that are being injected into the agriculture industry at this time and so it makes it a really exciting time to be part of production. At Acadian we have been conducting trials with farmers over the last 30 plus years. I've been doing it directly for the last 15 or so and what we do when we 
work with farmers to conduct trials is we really understand what their goals and objectives are. So we look for not only what they're trying to achieve from a production standpoint, but also a sustainability standpoint. So whether it's improving soil health or increasing nutrient use efficiency, identifying those goals and then designing a program with our products that really fits in with the rest of their program. And then we can identify what the applications are and then what the data that needs to be collected is so that they can really see those tangible results of the trials themselves. Soil is quite complex. It's made up of organic matter, minerals, liquids, gases, um, and living organisms. And all together, it forms a unique ecosystem with the plant. Seaweed extracts can help to promote the growth of these beneficial microbes, leading to healthier soils. These soil microbes can outcompete detrimental microbes in the soil and improve soil structure. One of the key things that drew me to agriculture is the need to be a problem solver and to look at the resources we have and how we're going to apply them in new ways. And that is really what gets me excited about the business at this time. Improving soil structure can increase water holding capacity and reduce erosion. This means that even in drought prone areas, farmers can help maintain healthy soil moisture levels and protect their land from damage. And the best part, seaweed extracts are natural and sustainable. As the world's population continues to grow, it is becoming increasingly important to find ways to improve soil health in order to produce enough food for a growing population. Soil health is essential for food production. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, estimates that by 2050, the world will need to produce 60% more food than it does today in order to feed the additional 2.3 billion people that are projected to be living on the planet. This is a daunting task, but one that can be made easier by improving soil health. We regularly apply Acadian sea plants uh, as part of our foliar nutrition program, uh, particularly in times of extreme climate events. Uh, if we see frost or, or an extreme heat event coming, we utilize the product ahead of that event. We also use Acadian sea plants as a drench uh, for newly planted nursery stock. Uh, we like to drench the trees prior to putting the trees in the soil at planting, and then often fall follow up uh, utilizing the product in fertigation or irrigation type applications where we can water in the root system, uh, again trying to help mitigate against some of the extremes in climate uh, or also just as a means of improving root systems and providing additional support to the young growing plants. We can't save soil alone, right? It, it has to be combined practices, so best practices looking at crop rotations and no or minimum tillage to help really maintain the ecosystem in the soil and help plants thrive in that ecosystem. But I think Acadian seaweed extracts are definitely a piece of the answer, along with other good practices, to really bring back the quality of soils along with maintaining or enhancing productivity. Modern day farming has been focused on producing more and more. It's productivity plus productivity. We've been developing bigger equipment to travel across land quicker and more efficiently. Um, inputs have been focused on productivity of crops, but we've missed sustainability. And sustainability means that we're farming not just for today, but for the future as well. The farming industry presents an amazing opportunity to solve some of our planet's greatest challenges, such as climate change. We need to adopt new sustainable agricultural tools Effective implementation of sustainable soil management practices by farmers requires collaboration and participation from all stakeholders. This can lead to positive outcomes for all, the farmers, the people and the planet.